So what happened? What happened from what you could see? I can see, I'm looking back at the photos, the, the vehicle was climbing off the pad. There was something trailing, a smoke, a smoke or fire plume from the rocket itself, um, trailing uh, at the rocket all the way up. As it cleared the top of the uh, water tower, there was a, a clear break apart, and the booster uh, integrity failed. It was then a tremendous fireball um, and loud, and it tra trailed by a very loud explosion. Um, parts were sent flying everywhere, and then the vehicle fell back to the bad, uh, exploding in an even larger fireball. Um, setting the air, entire area on fire. It did, what did it did? Could you feel it? The explosion, like in your body, like a normal launch or something? Yeah, or? I can feel it. Um, I, the first rush was the was the noise coming from the actual launch, but then the second there was a second blast that was from the actual rocket exploding. Um, at that point, they were yelling for the media to get out of there, to drop everything and and run. Um, which we did. Um, I had the, I tore my camera from my tripod and, and ran back to the bus. All right. You're, of breath. you're on the, you're on the bus now? I'm on the bus now. We're all going back. They're, as the reality of this sets in, the media is getting uh, more concerned because they, a lot of them left their computers, phones, was back at the at the site, um, and it wasn't clear where the fireball was going to go. Did, did you did, did did anything reach you guys? Do you know? I mean, do you know about that yet? Like where where you were sitting? Nothing reached uh, us while we were there. It seemed to fall directly back onto the pad. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a large plume of of, of uh, whatever this uh, uh, from the explosion. It was starting to drift in the wind, and it wasn't clear which direction that was coming. Okay. Um, how, how many people were, were watching at the press site from where you could see? It was a full bus, so um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So about uh, 24, 40, about 50 people. All right. All right. A bus load. This would have been a much larger crowd had it occurred on the first night. When they scrubbed, because at that point we had a, we had two full buses. Mm -hmm. At this point, we only had one because of the day's delay. All right, all right. Thank, 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 thanks a lot, Robert. Thanks. Um, is there anything else? I mean, th those are the main things I wanted to ask real quick. Um, uh, 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 is there is there is there anything else that you want to add real quick before we 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 let you go uh, to kind of deal with that stuff? Um, no, I mean it's just. We're very fortunate that this is an unmanned launch and that the island was clear of people. Mm -hmm. This could have been uh, a real tragedy and loss of life. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, th thanks, Robert. Thank you for calling. Um, uh, take it easy. Let me know when you're when you're up and running over there for photos and stuff like that. Okay, will do. All right, man. Thanks. Oh, Rob? Robert? Yeah. Uh, at collectspace.com uh, editor? Yes, editor of editor of All right, thanks a lot, man. Thanks. All right, thank you. Oh, and if I if I send this to our video guys, is that all right if they put it in there? Uh, the audio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Take it easy. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye. Space.com. <laughs>